Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly take attendance using Zoom's Usage Reports feature as well as how to split columns in Google Sheets. So first of all, if you're using Zoom and that is the plan platform that you are using to um, communicate with your students and do your synchronous learning, you do get some usage reports where you can see who was in your meeting at the time of your meeting as well as their name, their email address, and a lot of other information I'll show you in just a second. So to access these reports, you simply go to your zoom.us uh, profile. You'll go to reports at the bottom left. You'll choose usage. And then you will click on the meeting that you had. When you get to this meeting, what you wanna click on is this highlighted number. So you can see minus four, and that's where you can download your um, Excel or CSV file, so that way you can download it and upload it. Um, so for the sake of this movie I'm, or this video, I'm not going to click this button right now just because it does have some people's personal information in it, but I will show you what you do get when you download it. So you would just simply click on that button and then you could download the file. So when you download it, you can put it into Sheets or um, Excel, so either option would work. For this video, I'll actually show it to you in Sheets because I'm working off of a Chromebook. But one thing that many teachers were mentioning was that, yeah, this is really great, that all of the names are here. However, when I take attendance, it's not a split cell. The names are all in one column, which means I can only really sort it by their first name. However, there's a really easy little feature in Google Sheets where you can split the columns. So the first thing you want to do is highlight that column, the name column that you see here. And you're gonna insert a column to the right. And the reason you wanna do that is because that's where all the last names are going to go in a second when you split these sales, cells. I'm also gonna rename this one just to name because I only want one item in there right now. Otherwise, if it's like this with name, then original name, it's going to split it into three columns because there's three words. So all I have to do to split the column is I highlight that column that I want to split. I go up to data. I come down to split text to columns and a bot little button up here at the bottom is gonna pop up and you can choose detect automatically, but I just wanna make sure I'm more accurate and I am going to split them based upon a space. So um, you could do that by a period or a comma, but as you can see, the names of the people that I've got in my meeting are separated by first and last name by a space. So when I click on that, you can see that this simply puts them into their own um, column. And so now if I needed to, I could make that first name and uh, last name. Now when I sort, just a pro tip, highlight that top row, choose view and freeze row one. That way it's not gonna move. Now, obviously this is a very small class. So if I had 40 more students, this is, would be a lot more useful. But from here, I click the little downward button and then I'm gonna choose sort A to Z. And now I can see that my students are in alphabetical order. So it's gonna be much easier to take my attendance at the end of class when I run that usage report. If you have any questions on this, please let me know.